Hi, I'm Greg Allnut. Um, I'm a partner at Advisory Works. I've been there for about five years. Uh, prior to that, I've been a regional manager, a general manager, and a chief executive in a variety of organisations. Um, I've always been passionate about uh, leadership in organisations and I'm passionate about Canterbury business um, and I would like to take that opportunity to give back to that business community and be able to bring my skills and assets to be able to help the Chamber uh, continue to provide the fantastic services it has done to the business community. I think the key thing that I can bring to the board is my experience as a leader. I've been leading in organisations for over 30 years and so and in challenging and complex environments and so have a wide experience of leadership. The other thing I think I bring to the Chamber and the board is I've been in the strategy and strategic thinking space for over 15 years helping organisations and my own organisations and others to be future focused and I've been recognised as a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for that skill set and I think I can bring all this to the board so that the board can remain as they have been future focused, being able to adapt, being able to respond to the changing marketplace to ensure that our members have the best support available to them to navigate change and thrive. Um, I think there are a couple of big business challenges ahead of us. Obviously there's the one of the uh, rebuild as it tapers off and changes the business dynamic. Um, a number of businesses are facing a changing env uh, environment or a closing market. And similarly as we see the uncertainty of the current economic situation play out, we don't know what that will face. But some businesses will face some challenge of being in a closing market, others will see opportunities. And it's for the Chamber to be able to provide to both ends of that spectrum. The other challenge that people sometimes don't think about is that we're going to have four different generations of leaders in the uh, business community and all of them expect different things, all of them have different perspectives and how do business leaders lead them successfully to be able to thrive through change. I think we've got many opportunities in the Canterbury business environment, but one of them I think you know, that we were recently voted the most friendliest city in New Zealand, we, we have to leverage that and part of that will be attracting tourists, um, but also attracting workers, attracting workforces and attracting people who want to live here. Um, as the rebuild sort of closes out, there's still the opportunities uh, to support the tourism industry with things like the event centre, the stadium, the metro sport, which will all, can all attract um, people to the wider environment and then having the businesses and structures that can leverage off that and around that. The other opportunity I think many Cantabrians are probably not aware of is the growing Silicon Valley like tech hub here in Christchurch which I th really think we can leverage and scale and be seen as something that is world leading. I think the Chamber has a big responsibility to help leaders and we underestimate the emphasis that leaders have in the Canterbury business community. Our leaders have faced a hell of a lot over the last few years, and that's to underestimate it. But we've shown ourselves to be very resilient, and I think it's leveraging that, growing our leaders, growing the support around those businesses so that they can thrive and you know survive through change and, and come out on the best side of it. I think the other part is, is to have that voice for the business community so that they're heard, that they're understood as a significant part of any community as the business community and so that we can leverage that regionally and also nationally.